Kia ora and welcome to your wilderness adventure. Now this, hey, stylish set of wheels will be your home for the next little while. So listen up as we show you how to use some of the features that you'll use most often. Now, if you need more information, no problem. Check out the motorhome user manual stored in the cab. You can stop this video at any time and re-watch the sections you need to. That's cool, man. Before setting off each day, check that the heater unit has been turned off. The power lead is unplugged from the power box and stowed away. The LPG bottles are turned off. The outside step is retracted. The cupboards and drawers are locked. The refrigerator is closed. And the table extension, drop down bed, roof vents, and windows are all secured. Ah, it's nearly time to head off. But before you go, let's run through how your machine works. So, pay attention. The motorhome has a nine speed automatic transmission with a manual option. You shouldn't need to use the manual option. When you're ready to go, apply the foot brake, then start the engine. Make sure you're in neutral by pushing the gear lever to the right and up until the N illuminates on the instrument panel. Then select Auto by dropping the gear lever down and letting it fall into place. Auto 1 will illuminate on the instrument panel. If you are driving up or down steep hills, use the Hill Descent Control button. This will automatically select the best gear for steep slopes. First, make sure that you are in Auto by checking the instrument panel for Auto 1. Now press the Steep Hill Assist button. An E will illuminate on the instrument panel, indicating the hill descent control feature is on. It's important to remember that when steep hill assist is active, you must not exceed 25 km per hour. Once you're back onto a flat road, you can turn steep hill assist off by pressing the button again. When reversing, use the reversing camera in the centre console to improve the visibility of any obstacles behind you. Turn on the stereo by pressing the radio master switch. Then apply the foot brake. Push the gear lever to the right and down to select reverse and view the reversing camera. As the field of view of the motorhome reversing camera is smaller than you may be used to in your own car, it's a good idea to use an extra set of eyes when parking in tighter spots. Ask a passenger to stand outside the motorhome to guide you. If the dashboard warning lights illuminate after you've started the engine, or you have any concerns about the performance of your motorhome, stop in a safe place and call Wilderness On-Road Assistance. The fuel flap is beside the passenger door. To unlock the fuel cap, put the vehicle key in the lock and then turn the key anti-clockwise. Only refuel your motorhome with diesel. The diesel must go into the tank with the diesel label on the cap. Okay guys, one of the wonders of your new motorhome is it's got power. <laughs> now we will show you how the power works and where the controls are so you can power up the appliances and your devices whenever you want. Actually, I should unplug my cell phone. I'm on holiday. Nah. Power is supplied to the living area by a 12 volt house battery and 240 volt mains power. The house battery is separate from the engine battery so you can still start the motorhome even if the house battery is running low. Press the top left button to check your house battery level and the bottom left button to check your engine battery level. You can connect to 240 volt mains power at a campsite using the power lead in the motorhome. Mains power is required to operate the 240 volt electrical sockets and to charge the house battery. Driving will also recharge the house battery. The power socket is inside the service locker. You can find the power cord and the bag inside the storage locker. Open the flap to the power socket and connect the power cable. Plug the other end into the power box. You may need to turn on a switch on the power box. Finally, check the mains power indicator light on the control panel is on. Remember, only start the motorhome engine after you've unplugged from mains power. The 12 volt house battery powers the interior lights, water pump, fridge, media screen and DVD players, as well as the Wi-Fi unit. To turn on the 12 volt power system, press the power button on the control panel. If you are not plugged into 240 volt mains power, the motorhome will auto select the 12 volt house battery as the power source. Check the indicator light is illuminated. The inverter converts power from the 12 volt house battery to 240 volt mains power, allowing you to use or charge appliances or devices that require 240 volt 
when you are not plugged into mains power. The maximum wattage of the inverter is 600 watts. If your toaster, hairdryer or straightener requires more than 600 watts, it won't work unless you're plugged into mains power and use regular power sockets. Now, as well as electrical power, your motorhome also has LPG or propane energy. Hey, hey, hey. Now, you're probably going to use this more when you're freedom camping, so listen out for some important safety tips in this section. Very nice. The LPG bottles are stored in the LPG locker. The larger LPG bottle operates the stove and gas oven, as well as central heating, refrigerator, and water heater when these are in gas mode. The smaller bottle is the reserve bottle. Be sure to park the motorhome on flat ground when using LPG. To turn on the LPG, slowly turn the tap anti-clockwise. If you turn it too fast, the LPG may not flow. Make sure the living area is well ventilated before turning on the gas stove. If the main LPG bottle runs out, change the regulator hose over to the reserve bottle. First, turn the tap clockwise to close off the gas but don't over tighten. Disconnect the regulator hose by turning the connector anti-clockwise. Connect the regulator hose to the reserve bottle by turning the regulator connector clockwise. Once the regulator is connected, turn the tap anti-clockwise slowly to start the flow of LPG. You can swap your empty LPG bottles for a full one at most service stations. Oh, beautiful. Now, your home away from home carries enough fresh water for a few days on the road and stores your toilet waste and wastewater until you can safely empty it at an approved dump station. Eh? Now we will walk you through how to use the toilet, refill the fresh water and empty the wastewater and toilet. You know, it's just it's easy, sweet as. Mm. I think I have to go. To turn on the water system, Turn the power system on and then the water pump. Turn the water pump off when not in use. Before using the toilet, open the flap at the bottom of the bowl by gently pulling the lever on the toilet towards you. Push the blue button to flush. Finally, return the lever to its original position to close the flap. How long your fresh water will last depends on how much water you use. If there are just two of you and you're economical on water, it should last for up to four days. If there are four in your group, and you all take showers every day, you may need to refill with water daily. New Zealand tap water is some of the cleanest in the world, but we recommend you boil it before drinking. Regularly check your freshwater levels so you don't run out of water. Just press the freshwater tank monitor button. Wastewater drains from the sink and shower into the grey water tank. Don't let anything other than water go down the sink or shower drain. Food scraps, fat or grease, and even coffee grains may block the drain. You can empty your grey water tank and refill with fresh water at any approved dump station. Check your smartphone app for dump station locations. Your grey water outlet is located on the passenger side of the vehicle. Park the motorhome as close as you can to the grey water drain. Find the hose bag in the external storage locker and remove the grey water hose. There may be an adapter that you need to attach to the outlet for the hose to fit properly. Take the cap off, then attach the hose. Secure the hose by pulling the clips towards you. Put the other end of the hose in the drain. Attach the tap handle firmly to the grey water tap beside the outlet. Turn the handle 90 degrees anti-clockwise to open and allow the grey water to drain out. Once the grey water has finished draining, turn the tap off by turning the handle 90 degrees clockwise. Detach the hose and hold up the end that connects to the tap to drain out the last of the water. Flush the hose with fresh water then clip the ends together. Return the hose to the bag and stow it. Make sure you return the grey water hose to the same side of the hose bag as you found it to prevent contamination. There's usually a freshwater tap for refilling your fresh water tank located a couple of metres away from the waste disposal drain. You must not refill your fresh water from the tap right beside the waste disposal drain at the dump station as it may be contaminated. Find the fresh water hose in the bag. Don't use the hose supplied by the dump station. You'll find the water tank inlet inside the service locker. Remove the cap. Make sure to use the overflow chute provided. Place the hose inside the water tank and turn on the tap to start filling. When water overflows, the tank is full, so turn off the tap. Place the filler cap. 
don't leave the hose unattended when you're refilling, and don't let the water overflow into the service locker. Remove the hose and connector from the tap and put it back in the hose bag before stowing it. If the air temperature drops below 5 degrees Celsius, ensure the heater remains on. This will prevent the frost control mechanism from automatically emptying the fresh water tank. If the frost control mechanism is activated, refer to the motorhome user manual. The toilet empties into the toilet cassette under the toilet bowl. Use the lever on the side of the toilet to empty the contents into the cassette. You can empty the toilet cassette at any approved dump station. Before emptying the cassette, lift the lid on the toilet and check the flap sealing the outlet is closed. Open the toilet locker door to remove the toilet cassette. Lift the release lever and pull the cassette out. Swivel the spout outward and remove the end cap. Pour the contents into the drain while pressing the breather button. Turn the knob, then slide back the lid. Rinse and drain the cassette using the hose supplied at the dump station. Add sufficient fresh water to cover the bottom. Use the end cap to measure 50 mL of toilet chemical, then pour it into the cassette. Replace the end cap and swivel the spout to its original position. Then slide the lid back. Turn the knob to close the flap. Gently slide the cassette into the toilet locker, don't force it. The release lever will click when the cassette is secured. Since most dump stations have a recycling station, take the opportunity to recycle while you're there. Ah, there you are. Now, this bit's really important. The easy to use central heating system is one of the joys of a wilderness motorhome, <laughs> especially in the winter. Now, there's quite a few settings, so please pay attention if you want to stay warm on your road trip. The heating system heats the living area and hot water. It operates from the 240 volt mains power system when the motorhome is plugged in, and from the LPG system when you're freedom camping. Turn on the heater by pressing the rotary push button for three seconds. Then select the energy source by turning the rotary push button to this symbol and tap select. Select gas if you want to heat with gas. Select mix if you want to heat with gas and electricity. Select EL if you want to heat with electricity. Choose setting 1 for eco mode and 2 for high mode. To heat the water, turn the rotary button to the thermometer icon and tap to select. Turn the rotary button to hot and tap to select. To heat the living area, turn the rotary button to the motorhome icon and tap to select. Turn the rotary button to your desired temperature and tap to select again. In order for your living area heater to work, you need to ensure that the fan is on. There are two settings, economic and high. Turn the water heater on at least 40 minutes before you need hot water, especially if you're heating the water from cold. It's a good idea to run the living area heater at 28 to 30 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes before turning it down to a comfortable temperature. The heater should be turned off when not in use. Also, you must turn off your heater unit before unplugging from 240 volt mains power or before turning off your LPG bottle. Press and hold the rotary push button in until off appears. You know, there's nothing better than kicking back with a cold beer or a slightly chilled wine, nice rosé maybe, some tasty New Zealand cheese, <laughs> as you watch the sunset. Eh? If that sounds like you, you'll need to know how the fridge works, otherwise your beer will be warm. <laughs> Turn on the fridge by pressing the power button. Press the button to select A for auto. The automatic sensor will select the correct energy source. The power plug symbol indicates 240 volt mode and is to be used when you are plugged into 240 volt mains power. The battery symbol is the house battery mode and is to be used when driving. The flame symbol is gas mode and can be used when parked with the LPG bottle turned on. Press the thermometer button to cycle through the cooling level options. Five bars is the coolest setting. If you stop driving for more than an hour, you must plug into 240 volt mains power or turn on the LPG bottles. The temperature of the refrigerator will start to rise without connection to a power source. Before using the gas stove, ensure the LPG bottle is turned on and the motorhome is well ventilated. Turn the control knob to the ignition position 
then press and hold. Then, press and hold the ignition switch until a flame ignites. Release the control knob and adjust to your desired flame. Be sure to leave the glass lid up while cooking. Open the oven door fully. Turn the control knob to the ignition position, then press and hold. Release the control knob and adjust to your desired flame. Be sure to close your oven door when in use, unless using the grill function. Well, here we are. You know, we hope this guide has answered all your questions you have about how to use your motorhome. Now, if you're still unsure about anything, please refer to your user manual in the glove box in the cab. And now, you're all set. Enjoy your dream vacation and leave ordinary behind. I got this. I got this.